Would you like your ears to fall out? Well, do I have a musical genre for you? Noise music. Every edgelord's excuse to say that their music is far more complex than it actually is. Just kidding. Noise music is pretty cool, and it's had such an influence on so many genres that you literally cannot say that it hasn't, from distortion to feedback to noise. I digress. But let's talk about wall noise, better known as harsh noise wall. Ain't that just a fucking catchy name? Let's be honest for a second. When it comes to the world of gigs and gadgets that noise musicians have been using to create hellscapes for decades now, noise music is a pretty idiosyncratic genre, but it is also one that is respected and known and acknowledged and seen and visible and viable and any other word you would like to use to describe it. In other words, what I'm trying to say is noise music isn't some frowned upon upon thing that people are just like Ugh. of course you're still gonna get the weird bitches that are always like noise music i can't stand it step into a record from a project like mirzabow and you are going to be left with your ears falling out not knowing what you just heard but you're probably going to go back to it it's gonna be like ear candy but not in the way you would think it's kind of like a drug addiction like you're gonna listen to it and you're not gonna get the full extent of it but then it's gonna finally hit you and you're gonna be like holy shit I need to come back to this like it's gonna hit you like weeks later it's gonna be like a good movie where you see like the credits roll and you're like oh god i'm gonna be thinking of this for a while and then you drift away to sleep and you see it in your nightmares just me fine memes aside noise music is a very creative musical medium and the use of noise to create an avant-garde music genre that is as experimental as it is imaginative and innovative and seeing what these minimalist artists are able to conjure up from pretty much the bare minimum is as impressive as it is fun to listen to at times. Now, I'm someone that can kind of handle noise in small dosages. It's not my favorite genre. I don't think it could be. All of these different things are incredible to me, especially the early days of noise music where you see a lot of things that are employed that are uncharacteristic of a lot of different genres and they really had to get creative because I understand for how many bands and artists are in like the hyper pop genres and the noise genres and there's all of these different little micro sub genres that are extremely abrasive and heavy and brutal whatever words you want to use it is unnerving now but they didn't always have the tools to create what they create now and back in like the 70s and the 80s and the 90s they had to get creative with what tools they employed to make their music now the japanese scene is very integral to noise music don't tell anyone, but it's literally just fucking Merzabal and their influence. Hands up, I ain't saying shit. It also spread through Europe, specifically places like France and Italy, and of course, you always had experimental bitches in the United States doing crazy-ass shenanigans. Enter the crazed madman. Vomir. Vomir is a French musician that was heavily influenced by the works of Maurice Bell as well as other contemporary noise artists at the time. In his prime, he was doing a whole lot of stuff to test the boundaries of how noisy and heavy you could make something. He is both self-described as well as contemporarily described as a cynical person that is anti-music. The way it is described verbatim is no ideas, no change, no development, no entertainment, no remorse. There are a lot of people naturally that write this genre off as being wallpaper and literally just noise for the sake of noise. And unfortunately, it is very easy to talk to people about noise music and its influence and get people on board as to why something is, you know, important. But with something that is so monolithic and unending and just loud you can see why it would start to get a little bit more difficult in the early days of noise music there was a lot of experimentation with field recording sound recording sound collage a lot of different things to employ that noisiness but the japanese scene took it to the extreme they basically made everything as abrasive and as heavy as they possibly could and the way that they crafted their music was otherworldly in how loud it was for its time, which contributed to the development of the Japan noise scene, and further contributed to the development of the genre known as harsh noise. You can obviously see traces in other parts of the world, but the harsh noise scene pretty much originated and became popular in Japan, and any other artist that was doing it in the contemporary sense were most likely influenced by a project like Mersbau. But let's be honest here, 
what noise band or artist aren't fucking inspired by Merzbow? Harsh Noise Wall is if you took multiple different samples or noisy bits or noisy instrumentals and turned up the gain to 500, added a treble and bass effect to 1000, bass boosted everything a second time, compressed everything to hell, added in a lot of noise filters, allowed nothing else in the composition, and played it out like straight white noise. Do you know TV static? It is the equivalent of TV static, but a lot more shrill and brittle and heavy. It is bassy, it is crunchy. The texture of this is black and gray. That is the only way I can describe it. It is not despondent, it is not hopeless, it is ear shredding, it is ear numbing, and it is the type of thing that they would play in a torture chamber to interrogate someone so they would tell you what the secrets of the mission you were on were. That may seem extreme, that may seem like a lot, that may seem like an over-exaggeration, but I can absolutely promise you that is what it sounds like and i would play a clip here from something but i literally would have to put a volume warning because it is it could literally damage your hearing i understand in the asmr and ambient sleep era we talk about you know brown noise and white noise and black noise and these different types of noises that are made to be calming to have melody to have or at least some sort of like routine to it and consistency naturally our brains like repetition we like hearing things that are unending and musically it can put us in a bit of a lull that is the success of so many ambient projects i love ambient music and in a way this is sort of like both the same but the exact opposite to ambient music because it is the consistency and the repetition of ambient music and the low just drudge of it all while also being the loudest thing you can possibly conjure no band, whether it's a grindcore band, a death metal band, a noise band, a hyperpop band, there are no genres that rival this one in the sheer intensity of it. And that kind of harkens back to Vomir's aesthetic of being anti-music. I understand that I am talking a lot about Vomir, and I'm not really talking about any other artist. And that's because there really aren't that many notable ones. The only other one that I kind of want to mention is Black Leather Jesus, which I they formed in the 90s, I believe. And the thing that it really impresses me about them is not only have they collaborated with Merzbow, go figure, they opened for Sonic Youth back in 2007, which I just think is the most hilarious fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm sure if you dig into the underground there are dozens if not hundreds of people performing this style of music and I don't want to take away from the credibility of being able to craft something like this but I have to kind of call into question how much talent is in it because don't get me wrong I am a big fan of very idiosyncratic genres experimental genres I have talked at length about the importance of noise music and I find a lot of usage and usefulness and beauty and influence in a lot of genres that would otherwise be written off as being worthless or not worth anyone's time to check out because of how heavy or because of how unending they are. But when I listen to Harsh Noise Wall, it is very difficult for me to find what exactly the point of this music is. Is. And my personal opinion of it is I think it is more of a statement than it is an actual musical movement. Volmir has said before that he is anti-music. And what anti-music to him means is going against the grain of everything that is conventional. Challenging the normalities of that musical style to bring it to a new audience and just challenge it. I don't think that he wants popularity. I don't think he wants to be popular. I mean, if you look at images of him, he wears a fucking like garbage bag on his head when he performs. And if you watch a live concert of him, it is just insane. And that's why I say it is a bit more of a movement and an idea than it is a legitimate genre. Because if you look at a project like a drone metal band like Sun, there are a lot of people that think Sun are worthless because they are just heavy drones, endless, they are loud, they're noisy, they have no musicality, no talent, whatever. Uh, whatever Greg Anderson, Stephen O'Malley are posers, whatever you want to say about them, the haters, I love some, there are a lot of people that love Sun, but it's because they conjure up a feeling that you can't get from a lot of other musical genres and avenues and they approach things in a unique way that is extremely poignant, that is special, and that invokes a lot of emotion whether that is hopelessness dissociation 
loss, grieving, literally just sitting there and feeling it reverberate through you. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Harsh Noise Wall does not give me many feelings at all other than I want to turn this off because it is so ear grating and maybe that's the point. Maybe if there are some Harsh Noise Wall fans in the comment section or people that find this video later down the line, you could tell me more about it in that way and tell me what you get out of it because at least things like you know white noise and brown noise they have a purpose because of how it interacts with our brain chemistry this doesn't this just hurts what are your opinions of harsh noise wall though let me know down in the comment section below i would love to hear your opinions on this be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to join the review family today and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads you know who it is my name is jay morrison i'm signing off saying cheers. Oh,